Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today for these few moments of devotion with our Good Shepherd. I'm going to read from Genesis chapter 1, verse 31. God saw all that he had made, and it was very good. Creation perfected. Careful readers <clears throat> have noticed that God's creation in Genesis 1 looks like a temple. A temple is a place where heaven and earth meet. So in Genesis 2 and 3, God comes to the creation temple to interact with his creatures. Can we even begin to imagine how perfect that was? It is incredible that people who can see and experience the wonder of the world we live in, from the vast expanse of the heavens to the intricate detail of the living creatures here upon the earth, can conclude that all of this happened by chance, through natural processes or mechanisms of gradual change. And yes, I'm talking about the theory of evolution. Paul warned Timothy to beware of such conclusions, which are falsely called knowledge, and to re realize that by professing it, some have strayed concerning the faith. That's in 1 Timothy chapter 6. But the heaven and earth that we see today is not how God created them. They are far from perfect. Sin has corrupted the entire creation, plants, animals, stars, and us. But God promises to restore the perfect union between heaven and earth. He began this reunification when Jesus was born. Peace on earth, the angel sang. God and man reconciled, we sing in a familiar carol. When Jesus died on the cross, the veil in the temple separating human beings from God tore in half. Now there was no more separation. The temple of reunification was reestablished. In the new heaven and earth, there will be no temple because the new heaven and earth won't intersect at just one place. Instead, they will be united as one new reality. In this new reality, the home of God is with humanity. That's how God wanted things to be and has always wanted things to be, with heaven and earth united. The incarnation of Jesus reflects this intention. Jesus himself is the new temple as we read in John chapter 2, verses 19 through 21, Jesus himself is where heaven and earth meet. In his person, God and humanity are united. And it's perfect. We pray. Holy Jesus, you have made it possible for God and humanity to live together. Even more, you have made it real. How perfect is that? Amen. Well, my friends, may God bless you this day as you live knowing that heaven and earth have been reunited in your Savior, Jesus.